go against Falcon. Why not? Okay, well, I mean, uh, we were talking about this in the first match. Um, that uh, f- you know, Falco is one of Falcon's tougher matchups, um, yeah. but I'm not sure if this, you know, if it's a secondary, then he may be in for a tough ride against Svera. Exactly. Uh, also, Svera uh, with the, maybe the most handsome picture I've seen all day. Uh, oh wow! Like, well, so looks classy. like a 19th century noble, uh, just uh, so classy. Yeah. And uh, like, Hack is, uh, I feel like he's at church. Uh, to, you know, uh, he's preaching. Really... Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but in a vi- very stylish manner. So I think these two gentlemen will make a very entertaining set. Yes. All right. For the, so for the moment, it's looking a bit rough uh, for Hack. Um, you know, Falco seems to be uh, quite uh, quite decent. I mean, uh, we would expect it from someone of his caliber. But, you know, some uh, some lasers that are not going the right way for the moment. So I hope everything's going to catch up. Yeah, not, he's not really putting uh, the pressure on Sver. It's very just... Um... Nicely shielding everything and, uh, and keeping his distance and uh, going in when he needs to. Yep, and that's definitely something you need to do. You don't want to let uh, Captain Falcon run around and now that's a good dead gun. You want to put as much pressure on him. Like, the fact is, like, you can just, like, aerial pressure him because his out of shield game is absolutely horrendous. Um, so, like, mixing up between shines and just, like, straight aerials is going to be really, really good. You I just want to make sure. Yeah, that his that. fastest option is, like, an up air, which is frame 10 or so. And, and compared to Falco, who has shine, and then even down air, nair, back air, they're all a lot uh, a lot quicker. Yeah, and so you, you just need to worry about grab, and that's why Falcons roll so much, because whenever they're in oh, shield, it's probably one of the best jump. options. Get clip with a jump from, uh, from ledge. Yeah, very unfortunate. All right, they're both center stage. We'll see if uh, Falco, uh, Hex Falco can uh, box uh, as well as the other Falcos we've seen. And he just, I think he wanted to power shield that, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, just didn't. Oh no, terrible DI on the, on, on the knee goes into the ab- abyss. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, you know, Sverva is not really blowing up Hex uh, or Heck. Yeah. Uh, but, um, Afterwards, he, he's got like three straight knees in a row, uh, which is really, you know, mm. changed uh, the match. And now it's suddenly it's a three stock that was uh, really quick. All of a sudden, where where Sarah just uh, turned the jets on and heck seemed kind of lost. I'm not really sure what I think of this Falco, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it was a uh, quite a quite a gamble to pick it. I mean, maybe he's confident in his Falco. Maybe he's just like he wants to try. I'm guessing it's very first seed. Um, in his pool, and then Hack is second. Um, but yeah, maybe you wanted to try it, but it's a BO3, so it's quite risky to, to try a uh, game yeah, exactly. like that. You're, you're down already, 1 0, and then. But maybe he has the. He has a, the. Um the uh, uh, counter pick. Okay, so Heck is the second seed, but it seems like he, he lost to his third and fourth seeds, oh, which wow. are Taisu and uh, Jung Ulrich. Oh, wow. Well. So, uh, uh, young Uli is previously known as Mr. Love, uh, showing up uh, against Hack, who I've not seen for a while, so I guess he's coming back to the scene, which is uh, always uh, great to see. Um, but let's see, Hack actually played Falco the whole tournament. What? What is this? What am okay. I looking at? Uh, I think I think that's the one of the characters. It's the one of the ancient characters that uh, we don't see much anymore. Uh, it's a Kirby, the, the the Phantom, apparently the the ghost. Kirby the ghost, <laughs> yep. The ghost of of Melee past. <laughs> exactly. Times past. This reminds me of uh, two weeks ago when I did the the Iron Man tournament. Uh, oh yeah, I ran it out. It was a really yeah, it was a really nice tournament by by Sin and Whale, two Dutch players. Um, yes. And we I also had some, some really, great. yeah, you commentated after me, I think. We did some really nice, uh, some really wacky matchups. Uh, this kind of reminds me of that. Um, you know, um, for for Hack, uh, I guess he's in the, he's not in the top bracket anyway, so he might as well just, you know, hang out and have, have fun. some fun. Just a bit of, uh, bit so, of sandbagging. So, so it seems like, yeah, he played uh, Falco uh, the whole pool, so I guess he wants to play as Falco. He's like, I'm not taking this. I want to, you know, train my Falco, which is always something I find honorable when you're not like... You try a character and you're like, oh, I lost with it, so I'm gonna, just going to play my main because I don't have confidence in me uh, anymore. <laughs> like, just Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think, um, you know, it's different from playing to win than playing your seed. Because he could have just yes. said, oh, I'm second seed, so I have to get like at least, you know, third or second. But now he's just saying, no, 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 I just wanted to... 
to practice in a in tournament setting. Uh, and maybe now he's up against the first seed, so he's thinking to himself, you know, it doesn't really matter anymore. I've gotten the practice that I want. And after this, he's gonna go into the in, into the slide near bracket. So um, he'll still get a lot of play. Yeah, he's going to train his Falco there, and uh, so Kirby, I mean, unfortunately, there's very few people that can do stuff with Kirby. We had the Triple R, but that was like four years ago, <laughs> and I don't think anyone can really do what he did with Kirby now. Uh, getting like, what, 65th of you or something? Uh, yeah, Kirby is just like bad Falcon. <laughs> he, he has some stuff that looks like he has like that up tilt that is good. He's got the Falcon up here that is really really good. But yeah, apart from the, that, Decker is nice, and then his his uh, his F smash. Is yeah, pretty down air is pretty good also because it's kind of like semi spikes. I mean, there's no you know while we're at the topic of, of good and bad characters, there's no reason for Kirby to be last on the tier list. I think he's he's better than that, but um, he's definitely a low tier and maybe even yeah. a top tier. You know, uh, this is um, he's just so slow. Like, so yeah, slow. he doesn't have any speed in him, and also no real combos and stuff like that. Just, uh, <clears throat> just doesn't really help the character. Yeah, I'm just uh, talking a bit with Chaz about what we are going to do next. If we have to switch, or if we still have uh, some commentary left in us. Uh, okay. So, um, I think we're going to talk about the next tournament that is happening in a month from now, uh, which is going to be the 27th and 28th of September, which is the Upset. The Upset is a tournament organized by Poilon Software. Poilon is a very old school player, playing, he's been playing since 2003, uh, and he's a, you know, he has now a family and kids and whatever, so he, he kind of went away from melee, but he's back and he created Poilon Software, which is a team. Uh, there is Mai and Mackenzie in it and Raul, and they're all TOing and, uh, and playing. And so they're making this tournament. So it's already online, so you can sign up. Please sign up uh, quickly for the upset. It's in a month from now, and I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, you can also go to pointesport.com, get some customizable, customizable jerseys. Um, you also have like ones that like uh, on the yeah those ones. The the Triff one is really cool uh, with the peach, uh, and you have uh, also uh, other ones like the McKenzie one with the the face of Mars or like the kind of like the shadow of Mars, which is kind of cool. And I think you also have a a, a Charlon and a and, and a Maie one, uh, which it's like it's like the space team. So you know, go get there if you want some cool like apparel. Uh, trying to get some uh, esports stuff for when uh, we can go back to uh, usual tournaments. Uh, yeah, Paulo really really putting in work for for the European melee scene, using his own company to uh, to help us. He's also um, going to be responsible for. Um, keeping us updated on the standings because um, the yeah. same thing, of course, even though, you know, now it's all Valhalla, 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 at the end of the day, people are going to earn points for this and Poilon is going to be uh, working on a website where you can check the leaderboards, also check your own standings if you're lucky enough to get far into bracket. Um, I We don't have um, a site name yet. I don't think it's live, unfortunately, but it will be after this, um, after this tournament. And uh, so go register for uh, uh, the upset now. It's smash GG uh, slash the upset. There's only 10 people registered now. You know, there's 340 people playing today. I think we should be able to, you know, match that or, or at least get close. Yeah. Uh, or more. <laughs> yeah, or, or just, you know, explode and go to 500. But uh, let's not um, get too far ahead of ourselves because there's still a lot of uh, Valhalla to be done uh, later today. And also I wanted to talk about um, how Cone is sponsoring this tournament because he is um, offering some uh, some prizes. And I think the um, the coaching sessions were for the for the ladder, so for yesterday, but the, the sets are still, um, uh, or the monthly passes, I mean, for, for so that's one, a uh, month of that five uh, euro uh, sponsorship or uh, subscription we were talking about. Those are up for grabs for the winners of the of the lower brackets. So even if you're in the in the Somnir or the or the Slipnir or the what's it 
again. Sar- Serimne? I'm not sure. <laughs> Danish. Uh, if even if you're in those brackets, then you know get far and and you can get a, a month of free you know access to those 200 vods and and live uh, watch uh, coaches uh, talk live to to their um, to their students. Yeah, and uh, so you know go to uh, Cone's Academy. Uh, it's absolutely amazing that what Cone is doing for the community. Um, five euro is a bargain, and uh, I'm sure you have a lot of time. To uh, work on Umele if you want to get better, it's basically the place to go in Europe. Uh, so I think uh, right now we're gonna go on a break. Uh, so you know y'all can maybe get some lunch and stuff like that. Uh, be ready for more melee after. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, finally being able to come with you, uh, Barent. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. We had we had some great matches, some real back and forth. Uh... Some back and forth action, some some Dutch players, so I could uh, you know get my country pride up, and of course, yeah. create a big shout out to the TOs for for hosting such a big um, such a big event and also streaming it on on three different streams and um, you know getting the commentators ready and, and making sure everyone gets a maximum viewer experience even from home. So uh, I think uh, it's going to be it for us. Uh, if I look uh, at uh, what we got, I think uh, we've got a break for about, uh, we've got a little break and then Yogurt and uh, King Funk are going to follow us up. Uh, so two amazing commentators again. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned uh, for more amazing, uh, oh no, not Yogurt, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, at yeah, the wrong gonna one. It's going to be Zin and Whale on the BTS1 who are going to do oh, the yeah. previous bracket. And then on this stream uh, are going to be Ryzen and Lads who yesterday yeah. did uh, part of the country cruise who are going to do the middle bracket. And then me and uh, LCD are going to be on uh, the third stream where we're going to do the uh, the seminar, the lower bracket. So you'll and see more of me and for Explo, you're done, I think. Uh, so if you want, to, if you don't speak English, you can catch me on the Le Pugilat des Etoiles, which is the French re- official French restream. Uh, I'll be uh, commentating from uh, 5 to 7 p.m. and then maybe top 8. So if you have a bit of trouble with English and you're French, uh, you can go there for uh, some uh, easier uh, to understand and some explanations. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to Chase for uh, doing all this. And uh, thank you to you for uh, your presence. That was really, really nice to commentate with you. Yeah. Thanks for having me and 